Michael and I are celebrating our wedding anniversary with a little extra stuff at our breakfast. And one of the things we decided to have was one glass of a mimosa. And this is how we order mimosas. So the reason we order our mimosas this way is so we control how much orange juice actually goes into it. So we don't get the double dose of sugar with the champagne and too much orange juice mixed into your mimosa. Michael and I have both put orange juice into our champagne and created our mimosas, and this is how much orange juice is left over. This is the breakfast I'm having this morning, pretty similar to the one I had yesterday, some avocado, some hard boiled eggs that I just kind of chopped up, and some bacon. This was also on my plate, but I'm not eating this. I didn't order it. It's, I think, some sort of hash brown and vegetables. And then of course I'm having my two things that I uh, typically have in the morning, sparkling mineral water and some black coffee. So this is all the food we decided not to eat this morning. Some of this we didn't even order, they just brought it to us. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that it's not your responsibility to clean your plate if you don't wanna eat it or you've made a decision that doesn't fit in your plan, just don't eat it. One of the most commonly asked questions I received this week is about fasting and vacation and do I fast while I'm on vacation? So the simplest answer to that question is, of course I fast while I'm on vacation. I just vary up my fasting window and my feasting window to accommodate me living my most authentic life with the goal of always wanting to look and feel my best. So our best or longest, I guess I should say, fasting days on vacation are the days that we travel. So when we traveled on Sunday, we fasted for pretty much the entire day and then ended our fast on Sunday night with a really great feast at dinner. And then the days that we're actually vacationing, we just really make decisions based on how we want to look and feel. And then we loosen up the fasting and the feasting just a little bit so that we can live our most authentic life. The biggest goal is to live your life authentically and not perfectly. And then make sure that you make conscious decisions so that you're not mentally and emotionally beating yourself up. Just live your life authentically. So your vacation shouldn't be taken for granted. It takes a lot of time and dedication and sacrifice sometimes to fit in the time to go on vacation. So while you're on vacation, just make really great decisions so that you can enjoy your time away.